This is the computer that runs the Uniflex 2000 relay that's in the Coronado Theater for the Grand Barton organ that's in that theater. Um, I put a video up several years ago when I upgraded it to Windows XP because their old touchscreen monitor went out and uh, originally this is running Windows 98 but their old touchscreen monitor had gone out and the drivers would not work in 98 so I upgraded what I did was I had them buy a new hard drive I cloned the Windows 98 build which is this is the original uh, a hard drive that has a 98 build on it this was the new hard drive that they got I cloned it and upgraded it to Windows uh, XP and uh, uh, that worked fine I put the drivers in it I put the uh, new Uniflex uh, drivers uh, that work for Windows XP in, and they worked fine for a few years but what's happened is this computer has, has gone dead and uh, I'll show you what it does let me plug it in because I think it starts up right away when it's powered at least that's how it was well, I guess I'm wrong on that one. Maybe I reset the BIOS. Hmm. Oh, that's right. There's a hard switch on back. Okay, this is all that it does. All the fans run. I, could, I heard a little bit of a click from the hard drive. But nothing happens beyond this point. Uh, there's nothing on the screen. There's no post. And obviously without post, there's no BIOS. So what could be wrong? Well, when I was in the theater, I reseeded all the boards, the memory, uh, the hard drives, everything, reseeded everything. I even switched over to the old Windows 98 hard drive to see if that would uh, make it work. No, nothing worked. So I had to take the computer home with me. It's on my bench now, of course, <coughs> to diagnose. <coughs> I had checked all the uh, power outputs from the hard, uh, power supply all the voltages are there I tried it with uh, the cards this is the OEM uh, uh, Uniflex interface board it plugs in an ISIS slot not in a, a PCI slot an ISIS slot I uh, tried it with that board disconnected uh, I tried it with the sound card board disconnected. The only board I didn't try with it disconnected is a video card. There's no onboard video on this motherboard. So what could be wrong? Well, I've, I've tried different hard drives on it. I'm thinking that what's wrong is obviously something on the motherboard, not, not the power supply, none of the peripherals. It's the motherboard. So the only other thing I can do at this point, none of the capacitors are exploding or swelling. That's not the issue, as, as it is typically with a lot of motherboards that have bad electrolytic capacitors on it. I got a new uh, or a replacement, a used but a replacement CPU. So the next thing I'm going to try is that CPU to see if this thing will at least fire up. Okay, I have the replacement CPU uh, temporarily in the socket. Here's the fan and uh, CPU just laying on the side. There's no uh, uh, fan mounted on top of this. is a replacement I've got down in the socket. And of course, I'm only going to run this for a few seconds because I want to see if I get any action on the screen at all. If I see a post uh, uh, message come up on the screen, then I'll know right away the problem is the CPU and then I can put this all together the, the right way. But for now I'm just going to test it this way just to see if, if the problem is the CPU. If it's not the CPU, then I think we're looking at one of two things. Either I have to find another motherboard or uh, I'll have to uh, uh, see if I can find another entire computer to replace this one. They have been in contact with the Uniflex 2000 people. Uh, the club, uh, the, the Laltos club down in, at Rockford is looking into upgrading the system. But until that happens, they would like to get this old one working until they, they do the upgrade, and I can understand that. So let's see what we have. So like I say, there's no fan or heat sink on top of the, the replacement CPU. I'm only going to run it until I see something come up on the screen.
nothing and I do know the power supply has all the voltages there so what could be wrong uh, it's it apparently it is not the CPU that is at fault there's something else on the system board that's failed I might try unplugging the video card I, I have seen in some cases in older computers that if the video card fails uh, the thing will not run let me just try that so what I'm doing for this test this is the upgraded Windows XP drive I've disconnected it uh, this is a IDE zip drive I've disconnected that as well that's something by the way I did not do when I was at the theater and I have the original uh, Windows 98 drive connected I have removed the video card so we're not going to see anything on the screen I still have the uh, um, the replacement CPU in, in so what I'm going to look for when I power it this time is I'm going to look for to see if number one if if I can get uh, uh, any num lock or caps lock action on the keyboard and if I can actually hear this thing begin begin to run uh, in other words the uh, um, the floppy is still connected I should hear it go the post uh, run that I should it should run a few things to let me know that um, one of two things it could have been the zip drive could have been bad I doubt it uh, or it could be the video card if it's video card well then I'll have to hunt around and see if I get another one to try so let's power this thing up and see what it does still nothing I don't know what on the motherboard could have gone bad all the voltages are there on the power supply I don't know what could have gone bad but still nothing so what to do one thing I I don't remember trying when I was in the theater is I didn't try running it with the Uniflex dongle removed um, something could have gone wrong in this that stops the computer from even doing a post but that's a long shot so I'm going to try it one more time with the dongle out I have the uh, original CPU back in because I'm pretty sure that that's not the problem I do have it connected up to the old Windows 98 uh, hard drive the original hard drive the zip drive is completely disconnected the upgraded I think this upgraded uh, XP drive that I built something went wrong with this as well I have a feeling that if I get another computer going I'm gonna have to do another upgrade to XP for it to work their um, touchscreen monitor that's in their music rack but anyways I'm gonna try it one more time without the dongle plugged in uh, it is I may find another computer I have one here that I can possibly substitute that may work um, I might opt to just leave it at Windows 98 and tell them that they'll have to use a mouse temporarily until they get an upgrade but I'm going to tell them that they have to uh, schedule something with Uniflex 2000 to do an upgrade to uh, modern hardware in the console but I'll see if I can get this going let me just try powering it oops do I have it plugged in no I don't hang on I gotta plug it in electrics work so much better when you plug it in <laughs> let's see what we get the lights on the uh, keyboard do light up momentarily but this thing just does not even do a post it could be uh, there's there's a lot of chips on that board anything could have gone out on that system board so what we're looking at right now is replacing this computer I, I could try another I could see if I get from eBay another motherboard but I'm gonna try a computer that I that I already have here and see if I can't get that working okay as I had mentioned I did double check the power supply voltages which were all there but before I go to exploring a temporary replacement computer for this uh, project 
I'm trying another power supply just to double check that it isn't a power supply. I don't think it is, but you never know. Uh, let's give this one a try and see what happens when I plug it in. And we're getting nothing, so... The conclusion is, it's something, it's not the CPU, I'm pretty sure it's not that, it's none of the peripherals or hardware, something in the motherboard went bad. That's the only thing I could figure. And so I've reassembled the old computer back to exactly the way I got it. Well, I didn't plug this power plug in, but it doesn't really matter. But it's exactly as I got it out of the console. So now I'm going to explore a, re a temporary replacement computer. This is a computer I've had on hand. It's a, it's a, it's a drop-off. Um, somebody recycled it to me. They uh, got a new one and said this one's not working at all. And so they dropped it off to me for parts. And basically all that was wrong with it was the CMOS battery right there. CMOS battery was just about dead and uh, uh, the hard drive, this is the original hard drive, uh, their XP software was completely uh, ruined. Uh, so that's all that was wrong with it. Everything else uh, seems to work. I've gone over it a little bit. This does have the one ISIS slot that will accommodate the Uniflex interface board. So I may be able to build at least a temporary solution with this computer. Okay, the other day what I did when I first started this project a few days ago actually, I had already cloned this hard drive from the original Windows 98 build for the Uniflex relay. And I've run this computer and it had plugged and played all of the uh, onboard uh, system board architecture that was different from the other computer. I don't have the uh, Uniflex interface board in, uh, nor the uh, sound card. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the sound card in or not, because the only reason they need that is if they were going to put a, an external MIDI player on the organ. And I, to my knowledge, they've never done that. So I think I'm going to leave that out, but of course I do have to put the Uniflex uh, uh, board in, and of course the dongle. And then the next step is whenever I get down to the theater to, to test it to see if this works. But let's just see what I get now. Let me turn it on. The, the CPU fan's a little noisy. Let me turn this light out here. You do escape. I'm going to change that in the uh, setup so it doesn't spend so much time testing the memory. Good old Windows 98. How we love it. And of course the Uniflex 2000 Relay, uh, there's no way I'm going to know that this works until... Now, what I may... What I may not do is I may not upgrade the hard drive to XP. I might opt to not do that uh, unless we get another hard drive uh, uh, just in case. Now uh, remember, the original Windows 98 hard drive that was originally in the computer is still intact. I've done nothing with it other than to clone it. So the next step is, of course, to put the boards in that this thing needs to run and uh, the dongle on it. And I don't know when I'll get down to the theater to test this out because for the simple reason that with the uh, coronavirus uh, lockdowns that are coming into place, and maybe some time so I can finish putting the rest of the boards in 
I actually think for now this will be the last part of this video and uh, the next uh, will be when I'm trying this out at the theater if I when and <laughs> whenever I get down there okay I have this computer running it's working I believe and I've got the uh, Uniflex interface card in the dongles in the problem is is the old computer when when the organ was shut down as soon as they put power on it the computer powered up this one doesn't and I played around with the uh, uh, power on controls and I'm not sure I've got a solution for that yet and I have to keep in mind this is only temporary this computer is a band-aid they need to get the uh, the or console computer upgraded they have to do that but this is just a bandage to, until that's done so that they can keep uh, the organ playing whenever they're going to use it uh, that it's hard to say because of this coronavirus issue I have no idea when things will come back to normal but I do believe I do believe I have this working the only thing is is the, the CPU fan makes a little noise I don't think that's going to be an issue you you probably won't really hear it outside of the console but I may have to come up with a solution to be able to turn this computer on and off uh, from the console uh, uh, I might have to put an extension button on the uh, power on button something of that sort I may have to do that until they get it upgraded but I believe this will play the organ I'm not going to upgrade it to XP so they could use their touch screen because uh, I don't have an extra IDE hard drive and I don't want to fool with this I certainly want to keep the original Windows 98 hard drive intact uh, uh, not fooled with this one here is working just fine being cloned but uh, um, if I had another RD, IDE hard drive I would certainly upgrade it to XP but I don't have one right now